Welcome to the world united. Welcome to the world united. About uh, um, 20 years ago, I was working at a multinational corporation and uh, I had no idea about spirituality. I'm sure it's somewhere deep in me I knew of my spirituality, but I really, I was living a very left brain logical life. And I didn't even know that when I got very, very sick and got migraines, and that the universe had something in store for me that would end up sitting on this panel, up on this stage. I am extremely certain of my reason for being on the planet that continues to blossom <laughs> into more of what I don't know. And what I can say about this First World Parliament next year, Dr. Uganda, is that uh, one of the reasons I'm on the planet is to assist in the fruition of the dream that you had. Also, I find that uh, my logical left brain part of me <laughs> and that loves pragmatics is what's coming to my mind is just to ask, start to ask, start to move energy and ask all of you who are here. How many people would love to be volunteers? So, how interesting. I wonder if someone could get some paper out and maybe pass a sheet of paper with everyone's email that would like to be a volunteer, yeah? There you go. So, these are the kinds of things, uh, for me, next year I have three courses called the Personal Mastery of Awakening that people participate in from all over the world. What we do, Dr. Yagander, at the end of those courses, is we all travel to a place. We, the promise is that we'll go somewhere and have an experience of who we really are. And um, all of the people that participate in that program will be here in India next December. So, um, so again, practical, yes. Uh, and I'm also happy to have anyone who will be speaking here on the radio show that happens once a month. So happy to do that as well. Last but not least, I was thinking of the evolution of going from being very sick and starting to see that, you know, I thought when I was sick 20 years ago I had migraines and I was depressed and I felt horrible that um, there was no way out and I had gone to science and the medical doctors and the medical doctors gave me medication and the medication made me sicker. And so I thought there, the, the one thing was something my mother gave me. She said, Jennifer, God is love, God loves you, and you are God. And I said, okay, if I believe my mother, if I believe my mother, that means there's no way I have to still be sick. So there must be another way. And I knew there was another way. And that knowing is what's driven me to assist others to pay forward the message that so much more is possible on this planet for all of us, and that heaven on earth is here already. It's just time to realize our own personal heaven on earth, and the heaven on earth that exists as each of us, and we can do our own personal heaven on earth. And these words, again, as I'm speaking them, I keep coming back, I keep being shown that 20 years ago, if you had told me I would be speaking these words, I would have laughed and laughed and laughed, because I had very little connection realization of the connection. And so now I sit before you and as I sit here 
one thing that I want to share, because I know that we spoke about this, we all spoke about this, you beautiful people, <coughs> and all of us, we have been speaking. And what we have been speaking about is this sense of urgency, this call inside to awaken this this, uh, this beautiful engineer gentleman who's asked two wonderful questions. What's your name? Um, Mani. Mani, Mani. Mani? So, as Mani was asking these beautiful questions, I was thinking, these are the same questions I've heard all over the world. It's the same question. Everyone is looking right now. There is this sense of urgency to remember who we are. So, for me, as you ask the question, how are we going to do this, Dr. Yigander? I, I'm more drawn to say, how are you going to handle all the people that are going to come? And how are you going to find out? I mean, I, uh, I'm, I'm listening to what's happening in the cosmos as we're here speaking about this. Um, I can feel there are people hearing this conversation. The question for me is, there's got to be an infrastructure. Yeah, and I think that will be that will be something that uh, we all can assist with is, yes, finding the resources to be able to handle the numbers that you're going to, uh, that we are manifesting even as we're having this conversation. All, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so anyways, I, I feel extremely blessed uh, to be in this soul family. You are my soul family. You are my soul family. Thank you very much.